Just see the difference. We're rescuing innocent babies, children, men, women, families, innocent civilians whose only crime was being a Jew. And to bring them back, we're giving Hamas criminals and terrorists with blood on their hand. People who literally tried to murder Jews, only thing is they failed, they ended up injuring them, and they failed in becoming Shaheed, so they're still alive, so now they're in our prison system, and now we're releasing them. Abigail, she's too young to commit a crime. She's three years old, she's turning four next week. Her only crime could be that she watched Paw Patrol when her parents told her not to watch. Kfir was kidnapped when he was nine months old. Which crime could he possibly have done? Waking up his parents when he wanted to be breastfed? This woman, she tried to blue herself, ended up burning her body and injuring a police officer. This young man, he went on a stabbing rampage trying to kill as many Jews as he can with a knife. This woman, she went with a knife and stabbed a pregnant woman in front of her children, badly injuring her just because she was a Jew. And that's why it's important that you educate yourself and you understand this is not a hostage exchange program. This is literally a murderous terrorist organization who went and killed and butchered and raped women, children, and now kidnapped babies. And he's telling Israel, I will release this baby if you give me back my criminals that tried to kill you. And if not, I'm gonna kill this baby. Because you see, that's the important part. If that was a proper hostage exchange situation, if Israel wanted to hold Gazan hostages, they can do it every day and without any resistance. Like literally right now, they can have in this humanitarian corridor a tank here, a bus here, and just load into it as many civilians as they want. Women, children, babies, and just take 10,000 prisoners. And then start telling the Hamas, okay, let's play this game. You give me one baby, I give you one baby. You give me one pregnant woman, I'll give you one pregnant woman. You give me one Holocaust survivor, I'll give you one Hamas terrorist. Do you understand how ridiculous that is? To compare these two as if it's a fair hostage exchange, it's just wrong in any possible way. They didn't kidnap soldiers and asking us to give them back soldiers. This is not a prisoner of war exchange. This is literally a murderous terrorist organization who kidnapped babies, women and children, raped their families, beheaded them, and now is telling us, I'll give you one baby if you give me one terrorist. That's it. Nothing else. There's no other way to look at it.